let's see if we can calculate what 5 sixths plus 1 fourth is. And to help us, I have a visual representation of 5 sixths and a visual representation of 1 fourth. Notice I have this whole, this whole hole, I guess you could say, broken up into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sections. And we've shaded in 5 of them. So this is 5 sixths. And then down here we have another hole, and we have one out of the four equal sections shaded in, so this is one fourth. And I want to add them. And I encourage you at any point, pause the video and see if you can figure it out on your own. Well, whenever we're adding fractions, we like to think in terms of fractions that have the same denominator, and these clearly don't have the same denominator. But in order to rewrite them with a common denominator, we just have to think of a common multiple of six and four, and ideally the smallest common multiple of six and four. And the way that I like to do that is, I like to take the larger of the two, which is six, and then think about its multiples. So I could first think about six itself. Six is clearly divisible by six, but it's not perfectly divisible by four. So now let's multiply by two. So then we get to 12. 12 is divisible by both six and four. So 12 is a good common denominator here. It's the least common multiple of six and four. So we can rewrite both of these fractions as something over 12. So something over 12 plus something plus something over 12 is equal to. Now there's a bunch of ways to tackle it, but I, what I want to do is I just want to visualize it here on this, on this drawing. So if I go, if I were to go from, if I were to go from six equal sections to 12 equal sections, which is what I'm doing if I'm going from six in the denominator to 12 in the denominator, I'm essentially multiplying each of these sections by, or I'm, I'm essentially multiplying the number of sections I have by two, or I'm taking each of these existing sections and I'm turning them into two sections. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let me see if I can do it pretty neatly. So I could do it a little bit neater than that. So it'll look like that. And then, whoops, let me do this one. I want to divide them fairly close to evenly. I'm doing it by i, so it's not going to be perfect. So and then you have that one, and then last not but last but not least, you have that one there. And then notice, I had six sections, but now I've doubled the number of sections. I've turned the six sections into twelve sections by turning each of the original six into two. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 sections. So if I have 12 sections now, how many of those 12 are now shaded in? Instead of having 5 of the 6, I now have 10 of the 12 that are shaded in. So I now have 10 twelfths. 5, 6 is the same thing as 10 twelfths. Another way you could have thought about that, to go from 6 to 12, I had to multiply by 2. So then I have to do the same thing in the numerator, 5 times 2 is 10. But hopefully you see that those two fractions are equivalent. That I didn't shade I didn't change how much is shaded in. I just took each of the original 6 and I turned it into 2 or I multiplied the total number of sections by 2 to get 12. And then instead of having 5 6, I now have 10 twelfths shaded in. Now let's do the same thing with the 4 or with the 1 fourth. Right here I've depicted 1 fourth, but I want to turn this into something over 12. So to turn it over something in 12, something over 12, each section has to be turned into three sections. So let's do that. Let's turn each section into three sections. So that's one, two, and three. So then I have one, two, and three. I have, I think you see where this is going, one, two, and three. I have one. 2 and 3. And so notice, all I did is I multiplied, before I had four equal sections, now I turned each of those four sections into three sections, so now I have 12 equal sections. And I did that essentially by multiplying the number of sections I had by 3. So now what fraction is shaded in? Well, now this original that was 1 out of the 4, we can now see is 3 out of the 12 equal sections. It's now 3 out of the 12 equal sections. And so what is this going to be? Well, if I have 10 twelfths and I'm adding it to 3 twelfths, well, how many twelfths do I have? 
I'm going to have 13, 13 twelfths. And you could see it visually over here as well. Up here in green, I have 10 twelfths shaded in. Each of these boxes are a twelfth. Let me write that down. Each of these boxes are 1 twelfth. That's 1 twelfth. This is 1 twelfth. So how many twelfths do I have shaded in? I have the 10 for, that are shaded in green. And then I have an 11 twelfth, a 12 twelfth, and then finally a 13. Uh, the 13th twelfth is one way to think about it.